Generic greetings and welcome back to Land Ships, as we should probably call this game by now. In the previous episode, we managed to make a new design. If we go over to build land ship, we've got the mini sniper, which is okay. It's not, I think, is as effective as the bombard. The bombard being brute force and ignorance, whereas the mini sniper is a more specialised vessel. But when we need to use it, I reckon it's going to come in quite handy for them that long range bombardment uh, that we might need. Um, that's cool. And we also got mech spiders after taking over Rizagat, which is something I didn't point out at the end of last episode, which is cool. We will have to move over to Lonlin here because as you can see, they are charging away with their, their airships. They are going to get there first and what have they? They have a fairly big Airship that is very big actually. It's deceptive deceptively um, Deceptively small there. It looks quite small, but it is not it's got one two three four five six cannons Plus a, a gun of some kind probably a rifle two suspendium tanks it looks like a very large engine and two huge suspendium chambers That's what these funnels represent probably uh, as well as your um crow's nest and i'm guessing these are bunks and yeah this is, that's a very 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 big vessel considering what i've got to defend it with oh yeah, i've got these to defend against it i am hoping that i will hit the suspendium tanks very early on and manage to take them out but let's just see how it goes as you can see shots are whizzing out already very very dark but uh you know, we do what we can. There we go. You can see it's coming towards us. I don't know why it's coming towards us because that's actually better for us because then our flat guns will get in range. Oh, no, it's not actually doing that. It's coming down over. So it is taking some hits. I am obviously trading okay with it at the moment. Let's just go to outside view. Yes, I'm not too bad there. Oh, I say that. I'm just not under command now because they've taken out the command section. What I'm going to do is keep this fight going regardless of what happens. Like, I'm not going to flee. If I flee, then I lose the city automatically. So I will keep fighting away until these two are completely destroyed or knocked out or whatever because if I hit their suspendium chamber, I reckon that is going to drop out of the sky. And if that happens, then it's going to cause a lot of damage to itself. It is a very heavy vessel. It's actually got steel armor on it. Look at that. It's a fully steel armored vessel, which is good. But it does have these two weak spots here. We haven't yet shot them at. We haven't yet shot at these things. But um, if we do get a hit on those and they start leaking, this will come down. You can see there are two big suspendium chambers here. You can see the crystals inside. And there was a bit of a crack there. I don't know what that was. They are taking a fairly big beating at the moment, but I am not doing too bad. Outside view, you can see I'm actually doing okay. However, we are starting to run out of ammo. Oh, good grief. We're going to have to go to aim fire on this one and aim fire again. Um, oh, there's something that we wanted. You heard that pop. That is the suspendium gas tank here going up. And we've hit the suspendium chamber once more. It is coming towards us for a some reason and the flat gun is now in range has it figured out that if it goes behind me it will get an advantage yes it has figured this out right there we go look it's actually gone behind us now but the flat gun is still in range and still in arc however um it's no longer there <laughs> although one of them is no longer there so yeah it's taking hits I don't know. I don't think we can defeat it now. I think it's it, it, it made the right choice by moving back there. It just took a while for it to figure it out. But unless we get a solid hit and blow stuff up or set it on fire, then I don't think we can win this. You can see they are repairing it as well. So this is a very, very good vessel. It's a fairly big one as well. It's for some reason going right down now. I don't know whether that's a choice on its part or whether it is actually running out of coal for the suspendium chambers. I, no, no, it it's, looks like it's its choice. Obviously, the suspendium is leaking here, and that's why it's going up. You might think, what the hell's up with the physics and the particles there? Well, that's because it's that suspendium leaking from the tanks. So, we've only got two cannons aft and one flat gun. And the problem is ammo. Actually, the lack of ammo. This thing is out of ammo, and this thing has only got another five shots left, and then that is it. So, we'll max speed it, and five, four... Three. Yep, it's going to be out. We're going to run out of ammo before we destroy it. But that is heavily damaged. And, oh, there's the fire. Victory. Oh, it surrendered. At the last moment, it surrendered. I'm very surprised about that. 
Very surprised indeed. Let's just go to defences here, and we need to move over, and naturally we need to repair these things, and we'll uh, let that crack on. This guy's attacking me again. He's cheeky, this guy, isn't he? He keeps moving backwards and forwards. Anyway, um, over to defences once more. Repair. Right, so, the plan for this episode in terms of building... We were going to build a defensive structure, however, mech spiders gives me a chance to change things. Design landship, open design. Where is it? It is the... Murrington. Okay. So, this is our boarding vessel, however, we now have spider bears. And spider bears are interesting. They simply fling these big metal spiders out and they rip the crew up which is very very good for boarding a vehicle however they can't crew it they just destroy it what we need is something that can support this with mech spiders we could retrofit this actually retrofit this design and um, take out say two of those marine barracks put one of those in and it would mean it would mean a fairly big change though we'd have to really redesign actually would we could we get rid of those put in a marine barracks there and a spider bear there we can we can right so we're actually only losing out on one marine uh barracks but we're gaining all of those mech spiders right i'm going to save that design then i'm i'm not going to um I think we'll have it at version 2. I think that we, we... No, 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 no. That's that's fine. I think that's fine. We, we just understand that is the new design of it. And we'll close that. Excellent. Right. So we will go over to this thing. And we will refit it. Open design. Murrington. Refit. And obviously we're just going to put the mech spiders on. And that should give us an advantage for destroying stuff like the mech spiders will go on first and then rip the crew apart and then that wheel come along and then take them out whether or not that happens i don't know um, in my experience the mech spiders jump further and are harder and faster than the crew so, uh, than the normal boarding marines so that's fine they should do that but if they all go together as one then the crew the the boarding the guys the marines they might be taken out first so we'll have to just try it and see how it goes either way i'm going to evade this guy down the bottom here that pirate has been taken out by this guy, which is fantastic. And let's just see what we can do. So, this is the uh, <laughs> the Reliance, which I must confess is a very, very good vessel. I commend him on his building. However, I am giving him no more thought than that because I want to move all of these around and then destroy him. So, we'll put the uh, Marington... Probably there, actually, because I don't want to crush down. I'll just walk. I'll just go through this walk. I won't walk because we don't have them legs. And then we'll move all of the mini bombards forward. Now, the problem, again, is that I've not yet got anything that can take out airships. So, what we need to do, sooner rather than later, really, because it's coming more and more apparent every fight, is make a flak bus. Now, I do have one in stock. I have made one previously. Whether or not we want to make another one is really up for debate. So, let's just ram this straight forward to there. And we will just unpause it. Obviously, it's going to ram straight through the... Uh, oh, my good grief. It rams straight through the tree. And as you can see, the flak has taken out both of the suspendium tanks on that. It just took them out straight away. And actually, the arc of these guns as such that it was able to shoot this thing as well but now it's right on top of us so we won't be able to do much although what i'll do is i'll ta get all these at the back and i'll say target that ve that vessel there and if they can shoot it then they will which is good we are still s just trudging forward with the murrington and it sounds like there's nothing else to board nope nope that broke okay so we'll move flip and then go back and just turn around lads <laughs> looks like we're not going to get to use the mech spiders sadly but we will be able to use the flak guns. So these guys are all out of arc. As you can see, this guy has positioned himself extremely well. Look at that. In a position where he's on top of these. But oh, no, no. We've hit something vital. And it's just landed straight on top of the bombard. Yeah. 
it looks it's positioning itself so it's out of arc of these guys because these have got a very narrow fire arc it being a, pretty much a rail gun and um, not uh, in arc of these as well so that is very very clever of him now there's nothing much I can do ah looks like it's uh, victory as well okay gentle take over there we are what I know what's probably gonna happen as well is they're gonna attack this area and I will Actually, I'm not going to build any more defenses. I'm just going to put up with it. So this is heavy tanks, 30% HP for track land ships. So I've got that twice now. Does that mean my land ships are pretty much unbeatable? Well, no, it doesn't mean that at all. Let's just go to build land ship and we'll check the land flackington. Uh, there it is there, Locke. It is a vessel that is simply flat gun. That's all it is. That's all the thing is designed to do. It's just flack away, but it's got this uh, large legs on it, and I'm not a fan of that. So let's actually go to design landship, open design, land flackington, take those large legs off, because these these give it height, and that's the that's the, that's something we don't want. We want this as low as possible, so let's remove that, and we'll put large tracks, that's not the right thing, large tracks on it. Now that It'll reduce our height so it's low as possible. We also have, as you can see, a, I'm just... Sorry, I got distracted because there was a pigeon just flapping right outside the window. Sorry, my bad. It's a, it's a collared dove, actually. Yeah. Anyway, right. Uh, where was I? Yes, so this thing is... What's that? Guard barracks. Repair bay. Ammo store. Oh, this is all over the place, isn't it? Right, you know what? No, let's... Do we need to redesign that? I don't think we need guard barracks, to be completely honest with you. I think the whole objective of this vehicle is just to take out the opponent with just... the flak. Forget about being boarded. Because it's probably going to make it more expensive. Um, what was that? That was ammo. Get rid of that. Get rid of... Get rid of most of this, actually. There we go. Let's get rid of all this stuff. All this, all the guff. We don't need guff. We just need other stuff. Coal stars. Um, I think it's... I don't think we need that. I think we need ammo stars either side. I think we need... Probably one coal star. And then we need... Quarters. Recommended crew 22, 24S, sailors. Uh, needs more supply hatches, can't give commands to the ship. Okay. Well, in terms of command, there's not going to be much command needed. It just needs to sit and shoot. That's all it needs to do. It just needs to... Um, I was going to say be a... Um, Essentially, it just needs to be a guard vehicle. Just, you put on guard and you say, look, don't... Anything that comes... If you see anything flying overhead that's not ours, shoot it. And that's it. I'm going to put a telescope there. And actually, no. No, 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 no. See, I want a telescope. But I also want a crow's nest. And that means probably a berth next to it. That's fine. Hmm. Not really. How do I want to do this? Um... Yeah, I think that's that, that was okay. In terms of crew, 24, we got 27. So we've overcrewed it slightly. That's not too bad, considering we are now going to put a cockpit in here. And that will give us orders, or we'll have orders that we can give to it. Uh, no supply hatches, so we'll also sort that out. And then that should be a legit vessel. There we go. And that uh, puts the little front section that I wanted on. But then I'm also going to put another bit on there in the structural tab. Strut, and then put a strut like so. And there we go. That is our flak bus. Save the design. And actually, we will cancel that a second. We will need to go to armor. It is armored up exactly how we wanted it to be. Let's just double check by going to steel armor and fill, which it is filled. We, will, we haven't painted it, but I think we will paint it a different color. Perhaps blue? I don't know why. What would be the color of flak? We've already got a red vessel, so maybe we don't want to go that way. Um, oh, we could paint it black. Yes. There we go. 
so you can't see it. It's hidden at night, and then all you hear, all you see, are is all you see is muzzle flashes when you look down, and then your ship just explodes. Very good. Decoration. We'll go for large steel name plate. It's currently the GLV Land Flackington. I think I will rename that because I don't like it. GLV. It's going to be. Um, it's going to be the black flack. Inkton. Because it's black and it's got flack on it. That makes sense to me. And save the design. And save it. Build it. Right. There we go. So. We'll build this thing. So we're not, we haven't built a defensive structure. That's something that I said I was going to do. But uh, I haven't. So that's just how it is. I think once that is made. Oh, are they attacking? They're not attacking. They're going up there. Uh, once that is made, we will... We have to make a decision. Do we go north or do we go south? Now, this guy has not yet really done a lot. But... Oh! Oh, interesting. They're attacking me in Genericans. That's probably a very, very poor choice considering our... I was going to say considering our defences, but actually, we ain't got a lot here. Oh! Right, well, this is something that I did not expect. Well, let's just see what happens. Um, first things first, I am able to... You know what, if I just ground this right now, if I ram... Actually, this thing, this is ours. Ram, down, go. That's what we wanted, yep. Pile on top of it and crush it down. Okay, hold it there. Actually, ground vessel. Hold it there. If we can hold that vessel there, we'll just shoot the hell out of it. Yep, I just grounded my 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 ship and all that's happened is we just pushed it to the ground. <laughs> This is a very smart decision of them, actually, to attack here. I didn't expect that at all, and it's also brought to light just how little defense I have in my capital. <laughs> Should probably go around and build some more things. Hmm. It would be nice if I could take them over, but I can't. I also want to take off and ram it again, but honestly, having this just grounded and keeping them here, I think, is much better. What I'm also going to do is get our stompy robot and walk it forward obviously it is firing away but it also has this tentacle thing and if we get it close enough it will start ripping it to shreds it looks like the uh, the ship I placed on top of it is now permanently there because uh, yeah the suspendium chamber at the back has disappeared and it's got a suspendium chamber but no engine now so, that happened. Our smashing, crashing robot is stomping forward. I've just noticed it's got some snow stuck to its feet. Have you seen that? That's pretty cool. It's also almost dead by the look of it. Yeah, there you go. It's dead. Oh, no! It blew up. That's not good. Is that a problem? It might become a problem. If these run out of ammo. One of them is low on ammo. But, honestly, I think... Barring some... Can we not ram to there? Yeah, it can't move at all. I wanted to try and move it back and get the guns in, but yeah, it's got no guns, it's got no suspendium, it's got nothing. How is it getting shot, though? Maybe it's just taking damage because of its, uh, cause it's parked on top and hasn't got a keel. Oh, God, I think I've just lost a defensive structure. I had a big bang. No, no, but something did break on it. This thing is got 9 of 80 ammo. Good grief, it runs out of ammo very quickly. It's not known for its longevity when it comes to... It's not for the long fight, it's just it's not there. Heart's not in it. It's heart's not in it. Hmm. So, if we look at all of the stuff that's broken on this, uh, you can see that actually it's got... I've just realised how many... How many fire points has it got? One, two, three is that. I think it might be, you know. It's certainly putting the fire out very quickly. It's certainly putting fire out very, very quickly. Let's go over here. And we can see that this is now out of ammo, which is pretty bad. I'm going to speed up to max speed here. Just because this is now simply a fight of attrition. And obviously, I'm not going to give up because, well, this is my capital. I'm not going to do that. Although they are constantly on fire now. You can hear them trying to put it out, but I reckon they've got a crew problem. Like with this, oh, it was firing away. It's out of ammo now, but it was firing in, into the back. 
Let's suspend him on fire. There's some, yep, yeah, there's the guns, and that's, yep, yeah, that was a win. As soon as it hit that front and it blew up, I knew it was gone because it's now classed as disarmed, and indeed, yeah, there we go. It is, oh no, it's now a mobile, apparently. Pretty sure it was a mobile anywhere. Right, so they're going to, interestingly, they're not going to run away, but what they have done is sent another attacking force. That is very, very worrying. Because I don't think I can stop them. I mean, it depends what they have. Oh, it's that thing again. The burn of my existence, that. We do have some ne We do actually have a nemesis now, really, don't we? Let's t take both of these and make sure they're on aimed fire, which they are. Yes, we do have a nemesis, and it's this thing now. <laughs> We've seen it so many times, and it's caused us so many issues. Hmm, I'm going to max speed it, or at least, yeah, I'll, I'll speed it up, because this fight, there's, there's nothing for me to choose, like, I can't do anything, it's simply just sit here and watch it, I can't command anything to move or do any, you know, maneuvers or anything like that. Um, it's very sensibly gone behind, and it's won, it's actually won, and we've lost our home area. Well then, I think... Because of that, we will make some inroads towards theirs. And I do need to scrap that because it's fairly pointless. Um, however, if we move, we might leave this in a position, a very, very precarious position. But you know what? They've got nothing to come and stop me. So, let's see what we can do. So... They've got a lot of uh, two defensive structures. I have all of this. <laughs> I will reserve these, move that to the front, put the bombards back in, and I'm not even going to put the Flackington in because A can't fit, B, there's nothing to take out in the air. So there's no point in me having it here. So we'll just click start, say ram to there. I don't think their vessels have much chance of living. Um, in fact, it's already blowing up. I can hear it go now. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it didn't It didn't totally explode, but um, a bit of it did go up. And as you can see, we've got all of these tanks. Some of them hitting for a lot of damage. Some of them just always hitting, really. You know, you see, you'll see a lot of the shots miss. Uh, victory. Let's just surrender straight away. Brutal takeover. I'm not... Putting up with that, and I'm now going to attack Grey Towers. They are attacking at the top here, this guy. But uh, that's up to them, and... Oh my good grief! Well, they have what looks like to be some sort of bombing zeppelin. And... Whatever the hell that is, that looks like some sort of boarding vessel. There would be no reason I can see to put two big supply hatches on the front. That just looks like a mistake, and that one is... I've seen that one before. It's a fairly decent vessel. It's got a um, cannon on the bottom here that can swing all the way around 180 degrees, and it's got guns on the front and flak on the top. It's a fairly decent vessel, and yeah, it's going to be versing these. So, yes, I don't know if I can win this. I very much doubt it, in fact, but what I'll do is just have the fight go, and then we will just see how it is. Looks like this is running away, which is a strange thing, although it is firing. Maybe maybe that is just... No, oh, maybe it's just for the cannons. Maybe it's not a bomber. I don't know. Anyway, whatever this vessel is, I think it is... It might be a bomber. No, no, it's got a gun on the bottom. Whatever it is, it's going up the top and getting absolutely flack to hell. I'm going to put these on aimed fire because I honestly think I, if I'm going to win this, it will be because of uh, restraint and not firing all of my ammo in the first couple of minutes. But honestly, I don't think I can win it at all. I think winning this will be a, just a miracle. We haven't got the defences here. We haven't got the defences. It's about causing as much damage as possible. And speaking of that, yes, oh, that, that is a boarding vessel. Yeah, as I mentioned, it is a boarding vessel. And it's going to get close, and it'll, it'll board them, and it'll win. It'll definitely win with boarding. The AI is getting smarter and smarter. There is the boarding, and that's going to take over these defensive structures. They'll easily be able to take, I reckon, all of them if they're... I reckon they'll be able to take all of them, in, I say, as I've defeated them. Strangely, I don't know how I managed to stop that. I would have thought they'd got that. Oh, well. Not going to complain. Uh, where is the... Where is that other vessel? Where is it? 
There was another vessel somewhere. Ooh, that's taking a big hit, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm running out of ammo very, very fast. They're all on aimed fire as well. Just too much ship. Too much vessel for us to deal with. We'll max speed it and... Oh, interesting enough, that just snapped in half. So that's now out. That one's pretty useless. Oh, there's that other one. I knew it was I knew it was around somewhere. Well, I'll tell you what. I've done a lot of damage to it. Look at that. Look at all the suspendium leaking out the top. Uh, we must admit defeat. Yeah, that's it. That's, we've lost that as well. That's a shame. So, we've lost that. Uh, we'll go to Grey Towers now. And it'll be... Oh, there's actually some good defences here. We'll reserve these. Move this over here. And put these in. Put these in. They, again, don't have any... They don't have any... Um, airships, strangely. Anyway, there's my massive bombardment starting. And the objective is simple. Slowly trudge towards it with the Murrington and fire with all of these cannons. Some of them so accurate, some of them not so accurate. All of them quite effective. <laughs> Right, yeah, that, that's that's in a fairly critical state, isn't it? <laughs> Good grief. Although the Merrington's taking a massive pounding, but that's what it's there for, to be quite honest with you. We're going to say board this, and I'll only say board it, though, once we are in range. And now, board it, and there's our spiders. See the spiders jump on straight away? They don't take any prisoners, they just go on board and boom, job done. Straight away, boarded. And because... Um... Oh, there you go, look. Can you see they're, now, they're not even bothered. They're just jumping from one place to the next. There is all of our crew slowly going along the outside trying to take it. They didn't manage it, but they did uh, try to get across. They look like they'll be stuck. That's a victory there. Okay, we'll do a brutal takeover. And then I want to move back and pretty much not defend these. Um... They might take this before my flesh crack is made. Nope, we did manage to make it. That's fine. So we've moved these back. We will repair those. And let's just see what they're going to send here. It is that thing again. Nemesis. Well, you know what? I don't really know what it is like. But let's just see what we can do. Is it going to ram me? It's on a course for a ram there, isn't it? I think it might be. I think it might be. No, no, it's just... No, it's just getting close. No, I've been destroyed. Ah, It took it out. Okay. Well, it looks like the Nemesis, as we're now calling it, is going to take another one of my... cities. Yeah, there it is. Wow. Wow. I mean, to be fair, I'm taking over all of his as well, so, you know, we can't really knock it too much. It's Frizzcut I want back. I don't want to repair the rest. The problem is that he is going to... And there's now two brigands down here. The problem is he's going to keep going this way. What have we got in defences in this area? Um, They're not too bad, actually. Some big cannons there. We need to stop them there. This far and no further and all of that. But this... Oh, God, they're attacking everywhere, this guy. Another thorn in my side. This is the problem when you do a ground... When you do a series focused on the ground. Because I have no fast reactionary vessels at all. And what is this? Pirates. I'm going to withdraw. I don't care what it is. I'm going to just do that. Are they going to attack here, are they? Um, I'm going to go there. Look at there. They're actually shipping loads of this stuff to Genericans because they're going to be attacking. So, this is taking back Rusgut. They've got three defenses and all of this stuff. But, you can see... <laughs> the flak vessels here. So we'll reserve these two. Move this into the center. And put these mini snipers back 
like so. One, two, and then there's a bombard as well at the back. Like, just shh. They haven't yet detected us. <laughs> Maybe a little bit further forward so the tracks aren't uh, on that. Although it's still doing it. And here we go. Start. Again, that one immediately say ram to... I'll just say ram to there, to be honest with you. I think we can drive over the top of it. And this should work out quite well for us. We've got flak on top of the Murrayington. And then flak on this thing, as you can see. And because we've got a telescope as well as a crow's nest, that's a 40% accuracy bonus. Which is why that thing is getting absolutely lit up. Interesting. Obviously, the further it comes down, remember this is a boarding vessel. Looks like it's going to board the Murrayington. You might not find that was the best choice, mate. I'll be honest with you. Although, I think it might take it over. No, no, it's not going to be taking it over at all. What a surprise. You board a boarding vessel that's full of robot spiders and you don't win. <gasps> and it's also parked on top of it now. And all that's happening is that the saw is cutting into its... The saw is cutting into its bottom, essentially. Well... Didn't expect that. We could board ship and board it back, but honestly, I'm just going to carry it and fling it that one. Uh, oh no, we've got a bit of a problem now. It won't go through this. Hang on. Trees in the way. There we go. See, we've added a bit more weight now with this thing, so it's causing us a little bit of an issue. And, ah, damn it, we're no longer in a command. Yeah, I think something exploded. We're no longer under command with this, so I can't order the crew to attack. So it looks like we're going to just have to win by sheer brute force. Which honestly is not going to take that long looking at this. Because they're all just a big pile. The Murrington is a little bit worse for wear, I must confess. And we are still going forward as you can see. Nah, we're not, we're not going forward now. So, there's only two of their vessels left. This thing, which is pretty much out there. There's a victory there. Yes, that's fine. Brutal takeover this time. And we will... What can we do? Well, they're going to be attacking all down the bottom here with Grey Towers. Yeah, this whole attack, come back, stuff like that is not working out. This is good cheap steel, which is minus 50% steel armor cost. And this one is Great, for... uh, Great Forest Grand Keel. So, we get a Grand Keel off it. So, they're going to take... Oh, will they take Grey Towers? Um, good luck to you, mate, to be honest with you, if you are attacking this. Yeah, they're not going to kill Grey Towers, I don't think. This is the Osprey. You've noticed probably a fairly big increase in their um, ship size. Like, the size of their ships is a lot bigger than we've really seen before, I think, in the other series. And I don't know whether that's because of... It's just this alpha, or just a quirk of what they've done. Or whether it's because we're attacking via ground, they've decided to go very heavy airship. And, oh, oh, that's pressurized suspendium tanks, them. And when they go up, yes, you see that? Yeah, the thing about pressurized suspendium tanks is they don't like getting hit. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was a flawed design, mate. I'll be honest, it didn't work so well. There's a victory, and they're now running away. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, not bad. Uh, we've made inroads. We've also lost some stuff, so this is certainly not over. I always knew that a ground, a ground attack would be very difficult. However, I didn't anticipate it being this difficult. It's also because of the way the map is. We're, we're currently really in the heartland of the enemy now. So we need to take back next episode these areas. Take back my homeland as well as uh, Narlikan. And hopefully not get anything else taken out. But we'll see how it goes. And look at that. There's a massive hole there. We're going to just repair some of these, I think. There we go. And yes, as always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.